Welcome to your first podcast episode. So I decided to try something new today, and that is starting a podcast on this channel. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now, but I couldn't. But now I finally have the balls to start, and here we are. I'm excited. Are you excited? Okay, you are. I know, but. This podcast series is gonna revolve around, or it's gonna be more centered around influencing, content creation, and anything relating to making money online. But our first episode is gonna be quite a bit interesting. I promise you that we are gonna be talking about how to become a field content creator. I know you're wondering, like, what does she mean? What is she talking about? Why would I want to be a field content creator? I know, I know, I know you don't want to be a field content creator, but there are specific habits or trends that you might have adopted along the way, and it might lead to you becoming a field content creator. But before we get into this discussion, we want to know what content creation is. And who is a content creator? Okay, so what is content creation? So content creation is bringing your idea to life where it has some impact or effect on someone else's life. So it can be through content consumption, and this can be consumed through maybe videos, writing,、um, photography. There are a bunch of ways to create content, and there are a lot of opportunities for that. Okay, so now you know what content creation is. Who is a content creator? A content creator is someone who ideate, create, and distribute content. It could be online, offline, whatever medium. You decide to distribute your content to, but nowadays content creation has become pretty much popular because of online activities. So, distributing your content online is the key focus in this podcast or video. Sorry if I say the word podcast a lot, but I mean I'm excited for this because. But yeah. Um, so now you know what content creation is and who is a content creator. Now we're gonna be talking about key focus point. You're gonna be talking about three major key focal point in this convo, right? So the first one is why does everybody wants to become a content creator? So let's. Discuss this first, and then we're gonna move on to the next part. Okay, so everybody wants to become a content creator because one, they feel like. Keep in mind, I'm emphasizing on the word "feel like." They feel like content creation is one of the fastest way to make money. I mean. I thought that same way when I started off, so I don't blame anyone for thinking content creation is one of the fastest way to make money. And another reason why everybody wants to become a content creator is because it is a lucrative space. Content creation, if you know how to do it at the best of your ability, whether you have a lot of followings or not. You can actually be making a lot of money from content creation. This can only happen if you know the business side of the digital industry. Okay, so these are the two key points of why a lot of people want to become a content creator. One, they feel like is one of the fastest way to make money. Two. They feel like it is it is a lucrative space to make money from. So, what makes content creation a lucrative space to make money from? A lot of companies, brands, industries, institutions are now just diving into the digital space, and 
Some of these companies like only know about traditional marketing, maybe like creating flyers and all of that to promote their products. But now content creators are there to help them maybe showcase their products or brand in another dimension or another perspective where people are actually influenced to want to buy the product. And it gives them opportunity to also increase brand awareness, especially when companies are working with content creators who are influencers. So there are different types of content creators. You have creatives who just create the content and give it out to the company that they are working with or the brand that they are working with. And then there is another content creator who actually just create content for fun. And then there is also a content creator who is actually business savvy in the sense where they create their own content to promote their self or themselves as a brand. And there is a content creator who actually create content for brands and also market that specific content for that brand, which we now know as influencers. Yeah. Okay, so now that is out of the way, it is quite lucrative because brands are now paying people a lot of money to create clickable and watch-worthy content for their brand. So if you have the tools, the gear, or whatever it takes to become a content creator, you might want to hop into this space. But I'm not going to lie to you that it is a lot. It takes a lot to become a content creator. So a lot of people like throw the phrase around content creation, content creation. But if you do not have what it takes to become a content creator, it becomes difficult for you and you might quit at an early stage before even getting started. So the second point is, because they feel like it is an easy way to make money, which is true, but content creation is not as easy as anyone think it is. Content creation takes a lot of effort, energy, time, and resources. Probably, you might even have to get out of your comfort zone to become a professional content creator if that is what you're aiming at you might have sleepless night you might do things that you're not comfortable with and it is a whole lot to absorb so it is not the easiest when it comes to content creation so there is this thing that is going around where people feel like content creators influencers and all of that are lazy, they have it easy and all of that, but that is like a serious myth that should be addressed because content creators and influencers are one of the people who are really, really strong. I'm gonna give you a funny story. Like the other night around 12 p.m. in my neighborhood, there were a couple of girls creating content in the middle of the night. So while you're sleeping, someone else is actually working, trying to build their brand or their income or whatever you might think it is. So it is not as easy as people think, okay? All right, so content creation, sorry if you hear too many background noise, that's because I live closer to the roadside and it is not cute sometimes, but I still deal with it. So, yeah. Okay, so content creation is not the easiest and fastest way to make money, but it is actually lucrative. So that is why a lot of people want to become a creative or a content creator. So now we're going to move on to the next step which is, or the next point, which is 
why do you want to become a successful content creator or what does it take to become a successful content creator? So one of the key things I'm going to focus on is persistency, consistency, and not giving up is what it takes to become a successful content creator. So when we talk about persistency, we're talking more about you pushing forward and trying to improve yourself as you go along the way. So I'm going to give you like a little short story of myself and how I have evolved in the content creation space. I have been a content creator since I entered high school, like year nine, no, year 10. I have been a content creator since then. I've had multiple YouTube channels, had multiple social accounts, which is a story for another day, but it is what it is, right? So I have been on social media for quite some time now, and I just love creating content. And I started this whole social media journey because of my love for creating content. So I have been a photogenic from, I don't know, since when, but yeah, I have been. So I have evolved because I started creating content on my computer webcam. And then I moved on to the terrible phones that we had back then where when you take your picture, you thought it was cute, it was high quality and all of that and up to now. So now I don't use my phone anymore, but I am not discouraging anyone to start with what they have because if you want to be a successful content creator, you have to invest every single thing that you have to better your content because the digital space is forever changing. It's like almost every single day we have new trends, we have new things coming up, new gears and equipments coming up, and people want to see something fresh, something that is eye-catching, people want quality. You don't want to produce something that someone will not want to consume. So that is important, right? So I have evolved. I went from using my computer webcam to experimenting with WordPress. I didn't even know how to write at the time. I didn't know what WordPress was about. But me being a curious person, I have managed to learn about multiple platforms and how they work, how I can improve my content and all of that. And here we are. And we're talking about it now. So I am a living proof of improving your content okay so if you want to become a successful content creator it takes persistency you want to grow as you go along you just don't want to be stuck in one space you want to have an open mind you want to keep an open mind as to how to improve your content or what is everybody else doing that you can look at and improve your content as a creative so another thing is consistency to become a successful content creator you need to be consistent with what you're doing you don't want to give up now because i have been there i have made that mistake and I don't want you to make the same thing so i i don't want you to go through like the same thing so i am telling you right now that you don't want to be inconsistent inconsistency can be with you coming online and then going offline or it can be with the type of content that you choose to produce right so you want to be consistent so that you can build a community rather than chasing the numbers, <laughs> okay? So building a community is a key factor into wanting to become a successful content creator. Instead of chasing numbers, think about how you can build a community with trust and loyalty. If you have that, trust me, you're gonna get all of the money that you need, okay? And the last thing that I talk about, I think I said something about effort, putting in the effort. Now, putting in the effort, I have seen 
a lot of people who wants to become a content creator who just get up today and be like oh i feel like vlogging because vlog people think vlogging is like one of the easiest thing to practice but honestly speaking it takes a lot if you don't know how to structure your content well when you vlog to gain audience retention it's gonna be hard for people to consume your content and starting off as a video content creator here on youtube with vlog that is not really ideal for you because nobody knows you you want to provide value until people get to understand who you are people get to know who you are what you're capable of and what value do you bring to them because if you're not providing value for people trust me no one's gonna care about you okay so you want to make sure that you come up with value put in the effort by doing your research because like we said in the definition of who's a content creator a content creation a content creator sorry a content creator is someone who ideate ideation is like the key aspect of content creation if you don't know how to ideate your content is gonna suck I'm sorry to say that but I'm not really sorry your content is gonna be trash so make sure that you spend most of your time in ideation make sure that you're getting the proper information you're putting like the proper things together in order to create so ideation, like your ideation stage is more like you doing your research, planning your content, what equipment, gears, location, what tools you're going to use. If you are a writer, you want to start thinking about your storyline, like what's the who's the main character of your story and all of that. And if you are a musician, you know what goes into producing music. Okay. All right, so ideate. ideating is important. It should be the most time spent on. So spend more time on ideation. If you do that, you get to spend less time on creating content because you already know your workflow for the content that you are about to produce. So when you create the content, you edit, you do all of that, you go into post, um, post-production, which is distributing the content, on the rifle platform so yeah um you need to put in the effort especially in ideation i'm gonna keep saying it because it is key and it is important so you need to be um, persistent consistent and put in the effort if you want to become a successful content creator so some of the practices that you can adapt to become a successful content creator is one to so actually do your research, understand your market, and spend more time on ideation. I'm saying this again because, again, it is key. It is important. You need to spend more time on ideation. So spend more time on ideation so that you can be able to produce quality content, what your audience are actually looking for, and what people want to consume. That is where you get all of your information. And another thing, another good practice to adapt to become a successful content creator is to stop digging into your analytics for instant gratification. A lot of you guys or a lot of us don't actually go to our analytics because we care about understanding how it works, how the algorithm is pushing out our content or anything like that. We actually go to analytics because we want to get some form of instant gratification. Like, come on. Come on. You're putting in the effort. You're going to see the result. Just whenever you post a content or create a content, your next thought should be focused on how can I better my next content? How can my next content beat the current content that I do have online right now? Instead of you thinking about, oh, people aren't watching this video. Oh, I wish I had more subscribers and all of that. Like, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. You're going to kill your creativity. You're going to kill your vibe. You're going to kill your move. You're not going to be motivated to create content anymore. So... 
to become a successful content creator, you want to avoid that. And the last thing I am going to leave in this section is if you want to become a successful content creator, make sure you understand the business aspect of content creation. If you don't understand the business aspect of content creation, you're going to be losing a lot of money because you have people who have less followings and they're making money from companies who are requesting them to create content. So now you have something called UGC, which is user generated content. So companies are not paying individuals to create content for them and review them and they get paid for it. So stop sitting on the cash and stop making the sh money you get. I didn't know I was like that, but come on. Okay, so we are gonna get into the last section of this, which is what this video is titled as. Even though you don't wanna become a fill content creator, there is a possibility that you might become a field content creator. And these are some of the habits that you have adopted that might lead to you becoming a field content creator. So if you want to be a field content creator, then learn these things, okay? If you want to, I'm not saying if you don't want to, if you want to, then do these things, okay? The things that I'm going to list. So if you want to be a field content creator, be lazy and live in procrastination. Unsuccessful content creators procrastinate, they're lazy, they are unmotivated, they don't try hard at all. They just, they are selfish. Like they put whatever they feel like is right for them, but they're not thinking about who's gonna consume the content. So if you wanna be an unsuccessful content creator, then definitely procrastinate, lazy around, just, you know, imagine stuff, but don't make it happen, you know? Like, just think about it, live in your head. Okay, if I create content, I want to buy a car, a house, I see myself driving a car and all of that. But what are you doing? Like, what work are you putting into it to actually live that dream life? that you have right now like what so think about it if you want to feel just live in your head live all of your dreams in your head and don't make it a reality by just listening around lying around watching other people's content consuming everything you can consume and not do anything with the information that you're getting all right so the next thing if you want to become an unsuccessful content creator the next thing that you want to do is to consistently compare yourself with people who have already been in the game before you. If you want to fill or give up, just constantly browse the internet talking about why can I be like her? Why is my reach not like high as compared to this person but you feel to realize that this person have been in the game before you you feel to realize that this person have been in the same spot as you but they never did the comparison thing they actually focused on getting more like i don't know who's honking right now but it's kind of like annoying but they never like did the whole comparison thing they were more focused on getting the information of how to improve and get to where they are now so instead of you focusing on what were they doing or what are they doing what are they spending their time on focus on oh why doesn't my engagement have why don't i have this much engagement why can i be like the next person you're gonna feel massively if you keep practicing these things another thing is do not invest in content creation if you want to become a field content creator if you have the money to buy a camera do not buy the camera if you have a phone do not start do not get started at all just say oh i want to be a content creator tell everybody you want to be a content creator but don't invest the time don't invest the money don't invest the resources don't invest the um, effort 
like don't invest anything at all and just chill lay back and be like oh i'm gonna be like everybody else that i've seen every content creator that i have seen right you're gonna feel sweetheart so do what you got to do to become a feel content creator so another thing or the last thing that i am gonna leave with you is if you want to become a feel content creator don't get started don't try at all don't invest just stay stagnant like you can get started but don't adapt to change as the digital space is evolving stay to where you are you are going to fill if you are not someone who is quick on adapting to change if you are someone who is not so quick with evolving you are going to feel as a content creator because the digital space is always changing and if you cannot adapt to the changes that comes up then you are gonna be stuck in maybe 2003 or 1998 the year i was born but if you want to be successful invest your time your effort and your energy that is where i'm gonna leave this today so i just hope that i wasn't like rumbling to you guys i hope something makes sense from this um so yeah thank you so much for being here today i am gonna see you in the next one i am psyched because i have more coming your way and yeah so i'll see you in the next one don't forget to stay true to yourself love you bye